Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is going to be a duty belt review. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let me know if you guys have any questions. A quick brief update on this channel. I'm just going to be basically posting strictly law enforcement or tactical gear reviews for you guys. So let me know if in the comments below what you guys want reviewed, and I'll try my absolute best to get the item and review it for you guys. And no, I am not sponsored by any of the companies I will be mentioning today, so just to let you guys know. Before I begin, all these gears you see will be in the description below. I'll try my best to accurately uh, press them as I go. So starting off with the belt, the belt you see in the bottom of the gear is a Black Hawk belt pad with IVS. Belt pad is, is okay, it's, it'll, it'll do the job. The belt is comfortable and all, but I just couldn't fit all my gears. As you see the belt above, that belt, you could practically fit any gear anywhere you want. So the belt you see with the gears, is a wilderness tactical belt a wide belt this belt is an absolute beast it's tough it just it just tucks in your body and it just stays there uh, you you know when you kind of bend over to arrest someone or you just bend over in general to pick up something the belt doesn't go up if you know what I mean I'll show you a picture but the belt just hugs you and it won't go anywhere. If you see behind the belt, there's also belt keepers to uh, secure the inner belt you have. This belt has keepers, so if you want to put an inner belt through just to keep it more sturdy, you can do that. I personally do that. So uh, this comes off right here, belt grows, so. and it's a rubber padding, so it just sticks to you, feels great, very comfortable. And this belt retails for uh, $62. It's, it's a little pricey, but it's gonna be worth it. Next on my left is gonna be a 09 magazine holster. This holster is actually, uh, it's actually pretty good. I like it. I like it better than the Safari. The Safari Land, it kind of has a retention issue, as you guys know. So I actually prefer this ho uh, magazine holster. Retentions are very good, uh, material is very good, I love it, uh, it goes for roughly around $40, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'll leave it in the uh, description below. Next is my Taser X2 with a Blade Tech holster, I believe the holster is going for around $40 to $50, again I may be wrong, but it's a great holster, I love it. And next I have a 09 radio holster so this company actually makes custom made radio holsters so depending on your department's radio they can you can actually message them and they'll customize the radio holster for you guys it's roughly around 30 to 40 dollars but it's, again it's well worth it next is going to be my quick cam roto lock holster this holster is very sturdy very great i can uh, remove my flashlight i can put back my flashlight very easily it's around $40, it's, it's pretty worth it. I like to keep my back clear. Uh, on the right, you're gonna see my Ito Survival Handcuff Holster. This holster, I really recommend. It's very easy to use. It secures very easily, you can pull it out very easily. You can adjust the retention. And it also, if you see on it also comes in a double handcuff holster. I actually, in my opinion, I don't recommend the double. It's just because there's so much weight in the front, it actually makes your equipment lean forward. I, I guess you can say that. So I like to just put one in the front and one behind my firearm. Speaking of firearm, next is my Glock 42 uh, in the Safari Land holster, drop leg. Um, love it. I'm not going to go too much on detail with that. Next, I have a Fox Pepper Spray in a 09 holster. Fits great. They actually uh, made the size a little a little incorrect at first, but they were, the customer service was very great. They they contacted me and they told me that we're going to fix the problem with, uh, you know, we're going to ship it to you for free. So that was very nice of them. And right next to the Pepper Spray, you're going to see another Ito Survival handcuff holster. So this is the gear, guys. This is what I use for my off-duty. This is a Bravo concealment holster. 
it's good i love it it does the job this is my custom made glock 19 holster not gonna go too much into detail this is my badge holder it's from a cook's holster the material is very great they actually make tech lock holsters as well if you guys want a two inch for your duty belt this is a 1.5 but other than that i love it the velcro is very strong so you guys won't have a problem with that coming off again my glock 42 this is the double handcuff holster i was talking about from etho survival again in my opinion it's a bit too heavy in the front it kind of kind of drags my duty belt down downwards so i prefer the single over right here, right here the cuffs come off easily and then they get back in there easily i love it the material is great as well sorry i'm not going in order uh, this is gonna be my fox pepper spray holster again from zero nine holster fits well i love it from my left i have a zero nine triple mag holster i love it retention is great again you can adjust the retention if you want kydex i love it material is great my x2 not gonna go too much into detail for this one blade tech holster zero nine holster radio holster love it very strong and sturdy around forty dollars again i love it you can customize this one on their website. This is gonna be my flashlight holder again. Pick it up. Then you push it back. I don't even need to put that right there. And it will move around. It's very nice. Again, you just have to be careful because if it's too thick, it won't fit over here. The belt I have inside here is a SOE tactical two inch belt. Uh, this is only for 2 inch, uh, well, I don't really recommend the 1.5 or 1.7 This one fits well, doesn't move around too easily But there are a lot of uh, 2 inch belts out there that are very good as well Thanks for watching, peace